What's up guys, this is Jolin here and today in this video let's do the unboxing and the review of the Motorola One Fusion Plus smartphone. Motorola has drifted out of relevance in the last few years but are back now with a revised strategy by launching the One Fusion Plus. So I had my hands on it for quite some time now and I will share my experience with it. So let's get started. So now as for the unboxing, this is all what we get in the box. Now to give you a physical overview of the phone, the Motorola One Fusion Plus comes with a 6.5 inch IPS LCD Full HD Full View display which is HDR10 certified and an earpiece on the top. The back and the frame of the phone is made out of polycarbonate. We then have a quad camera setup with a single LED flash on the back out of which one is a regular 64 megapixels having 1.8 aperture. Then we have the 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, then the 5 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel depth camera. There's also a fingerprint scanner on the back. So on the right hand side, we have the power on off button the volume buttons and a dedicated button to fire up the Google Assistant whereas the left hand side is kept clean. The top of the phone houses a hybrid SIM card tray and a 16 megapixel pop-up selfie camera while on the bottom there is a USB Type-C port for charging, the main microphone, speaker and a headphone jack. As for the internals, the Motorola One Fusion Plus is equipped with the latest Snapdragon 730G processor and an Adreno 61A GPU coupled with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 GB of storage. So this all runs on Android 10 OS and powering all this is a 5000 mAh battery. Now talking about the display first. The IPS LCD Full HD display fitted in the Motorola One Fusion Plus looks really good but it's not the best displays out there. The screen refresh rate is a normal 60Hz but I really wish they had at least given us a 90Hz uh, refresh rate. The fact that it doesn't have a punch hole or a cutout for the camera, it gives you an immersive full view experience while watching videos and playing games. Which is a treat. So everything on the screen looks alive with vibrant colors and high contrast. The sunlight visibility was decent and although I didn't face much of a problem while using it, I wish it was a bit more brighter. So overall the Motorola has fitted a really good quality display and you would love the display on the One Fusion Plus. A good performance is always a demand in the mid-range segment and the Motorola One Fusion Plus delivers here. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 730G chipset coupled with 6 gigs of RAM and the Motorola tweaked stock version of the Android 10 leads to a very good performance on par with most of its competitors. The phone is fast and smooth in daily usage. Whether I was juggling between email apps and uh, some browser apps or others, the One Fusion Plus did not show any lag or stutter. So even after extensive use of the phone, I didn't face any issues, now it became very hot. The One Fusion Plus also adds to the experience with its amazingly loud main speaker which is helpful during gaming. As for the IP rating. The One Fusion Plus doesn't have any, so you need to keep that in mind. As for the fingerprint scanner which is located on the back of the phone, I didn't face any problem with it while unlocking the phone and it unlocked almost 98% of the time. So I feel the fingerprint scanner is quite fast and reliable. As for the gaming, the Motorola One Fusion Plus performs very good with every game thrown at it. Every game ran absolutely fine and without any issues. Specifically, I played a lot of Call of Duty Mobile and the game ran very smooth even at the highest settings. 
So even after 30 minutes plus of continuous gaming, the phone didn't get noticeably warm to the touch. The, the, the low graphic and the high graphic games played without lag or stutter, even at maximum graphic settings with good stability. The single speaker on the other hand got quite loud, but it missed the low end punch, which is obvious so in any smartphone. Now coming to the software experience, the Motorola Twig UI based Android 10 has no ads, no bloatware, it's very clean and close to stock Android. Just the way I like it. But not many devices in this price range offer an ad free and a bloatware free experience. It does come with some useful Moto action gestures which work flawlessly and I happen to use them most of the times. The implementation of the always on display or the Moto Pick display, which they call it, shows small icons of the notification you receive and I found it very useful. Besides this, the Motorola only features and the Motorola Game Time which block incoming notifications while gaming are great additions. The RAM management is also done really well and I didn't face any restarting of apps in the background when I switch between different apps. So overall, the My UX skin on the Motorola One Fusion Plus is a total win. It doesn't take away the Android 10 features and the additions are actually useful and worth exploring. Coming to the battery now, the Motorola One Fusion Plus is powered with a 5000mAh battery and man, this thing is amazing. The battery lasted easily up to 1.5 to 2 days for me. This included both Wi-Fi and 4G connection, a little bit of calls, a little bit of gaming and lots of social media browsing. With extensive gaming hours, the battery life takes a hit, but on a whole, this is easily a phone that can last you more than a day. If the battery drains out, then the 18W turbo-powered fast charge technology lets you juice up the phone in 0-100% in approximately 2 hours. Coming to the cameras now, the Motorola One Fusion Plus features a 64 megapixel sensor on the back with f1.8 aperture lens. The 64 megapixel sensor produces highly detailed photos with vibrant colors and oodles of sharpness in brightly lit situations. Sometimes the photos look a bit oversaturated but retains the details. The color profile is closer to natural tones but there's a slight warm tint visible in some scenarios but needless to say the photos look always eye pleasing. As the light level drops, the One Fusion Plus keeps the colors right but starts struggling with details. Subjects lose sharpness in dim lit conditions and in indoors. So in night conditions, I was impressed to see how well the One Fusion Plus manages to keep the colors look closer to what my eyes saw but details take a bit hit. Switching on the night region and you get to see a lot of stuff in the darkness but the colors take a slight hit. Now turning to the ultra wide lens, it offers a wider field of view and it has a different color tone than the primary sensor, hence the photos always look a tad dull when compared to the same shot with the main camera. The wide angle photos also lose out on details a lot, especially when you zoom in and it struggles to deliver usable photos. As for the 5 megapixel macro camera, although it lets you go closer to the subject and locks focus quickly, but you will get decent detailed photos as long as you have good lighting, so or else you will end up with blurry photos devoid of the details. But I would say the 5 megapixel sensor is certainly better than the 2 megapixel sensors which are offered on similarly priced phones. The 2 megapixel depth camera performs well in portrait mode photos, uh, providing a great subject separation. Uh, the background does not blur out of proportion on the whole, but you will get some nice photos you can use on social media. As for the selfie camera, which takes approximately one second to pop up, 
It captures details and contrast is good too. The age detection in the portrait mode works well most of the times. However, when you zoom in, you'll notice a haze on the edges, which can make a good shot look bad. The low light camera quality is bad, but the night mode can help somewhat. As for the video recording, the Motorola One Fusion Plus maxes out at 4K for the primary camera while the selfie shooter is limited to 1080p. The video quality is average at its best, be it 4K or 1080p at 60fps. The colors are decent and so are the details. The stability is average as it is based on EIS. So finally, as for my verdict, the Motorola One Fusion Plus ends up being an all-rounded package for the price it sells. If you're in the market for a smartphone with an excellent battery life, a good display, a decent set of cameras and an ad-free and a bloat-free software experience, the Fusion Plus is the way to go. Surely it looks and feels quite old and got a bit half to it. But that's the compromise Motorola chose in order to offer a phone that's so high on value. Apart from this, the One Fusion Plus is a no-brainer choice for 17,000 Indian rupees. So guys, that's it for the video and I really hope you liked it. If you did, then kindly hit the thumbs up button or else you can vote it down. Kindly smash the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video goes live. So until next time, you guys take care. Ciao.